IISD Reporting Services is here at the 2015 Paris Climate Change Talks covering selected side events. At 10 million trees, 10 million souls, the government of Benin and UNICA, the UN Economic Commission for Africa, gave an overview of an ambitious new reforestation program. Benin is a West African country with a population of about 10 million people, with high rates of deforestation and low rates of access to electricity. It is also largely dependent on fossil fuels from neighboring countries. Benin has decided to address these problems simultaneously by undertaking a massive reforestation effort designed to generate biomass for producing electricity. In doing so, it hopes to reduce its dependence on fossil fuels and also reduce its greenhouse gas emissions. 10 million de Beninois ou 10 million d'arbres par an. Ça veut dire la population du Bénin c'est 10 millions. Notre objectif c'est que chaque Beninois accepte de mettre un plan en terre par an. Tout le monde a besoin d'arbres. Et c'est pour cela que c'est un projet non seulement qui est important pour nous, mais c'est un projet que nous comptabilisons dans le cadre des efforts du Bénin pour atténuer les émissions de gaz à effet de serre. C'est donc la contribution du Bénin à cette forme de lutte que mène le monde entier actuellement. Nous avons un premier objectif qui est d'accroître les superficies du couvert, du couvert forestier. Le deuxième objectif est de promouvoir toutes les espèces adaptées à nos contextes climatologiques. Et d'assurer la, le troisième objectif, c'est d'assurer la protection des écosystèmes fragiles et les installations humaines. Fatima Denton, Unica, describes some of the benefits of this program. Je dis que c'est un projet pour nous qui est très innovant dans la mesure où il y a un aspect atténuation et un aspect adaptation. Most African countries are very much, um, you know, um, on the adaptation drive. They talk a lot about adaptation. And adaptation, I think it's a priority for Africa in many sectors. Um, it makes a lot of sense. Um, but I think we also have to be open to mitigation potential and mitigation options in forestry. And this is um, a good one because it's about forests, it's about trees. Uh, but it's also very importantly about how do you arrest um, issues related to de deforestation. The, the rate of deforestation in Africa is alarming. Benin was identified as a strong partner for UNICA. They were not waiting for anyone to support them. They were just basically um, very committed to this. They believed in it. It had the kind of political leadership that you would want. So I think from all of those perspectives, we just thought that this make, makes a lot of sense. En plus de leur importance pour la diversité et la, et la, bio, et la stabilisation du climat, les arbres, les forêts, sont des réservoirs d'eau douce à l'échelle mondiale. It could help in terms of ensuring that the soils that we're using um, are soils that are fertile um, and that we can maximize agricultural productivity, you know, if we replenish the soil, if we look after the soil. A new supply of trees will provide biomass for generating electricity. Benin's Minister of Environment emphasized the critical need for rural electrification. Le Benin, comme la plupart des De, de nos pays africains en milieu rural, les gens n'ont même pas la lumière. Tout la lumière. Les gens n'ont même pas la lumière pour l'éclairage. Unica believes that this program could be extended to other countries in the region. Usually when you have a project like this, it's always difficult to think about how you can scale it out. But I do feel that um, given the benefits that we're already beginning to see and what they're talking about in terms of adaptation and mitigation, it makes a lot of sense to see how this can be scaled out. Thank you.